Welcome to the Fracture Fluid Data Submission by CSV File Demo Series. The AER is committed to keeping Albertans informed about fracturing operations and the fluids used. Industry is able to submit fracturing fluid composition data via the AER Digital Data Submission System, or DDS for short, which is then shared publicly through the fracfocus.ca website. In part one, we'll show how to enter the data for a carrier fluid into the CSV file template available on the DDS system. Let's get started. First, log into the DDS system and access the menu in the blue panel on the left. If you do not have an account, please contact your DDS administrator. Click Expand All and scroll down until you find the Fracture Fluid Composition Data menu header. Click on Validate and submit Fracture Fluid by file to open in the right-hand panel. Before you submit the Fracture Fluid Composition Data, you must submit the Fracture Interval Data to which the composition data will be aligned. This includes Fracture Date, Fracture Type, Interval Top, and Interval Base. The data in the composition file must also match the Well License and the Unique Well Identifier, or UWI, of the drill leg in which the fractures were completed. In the right-hand panel at the top, you'll see Submission Instructions and three red links. Click the third link, Fracture Fluids Data CSV Generator, and open it. This should open an Excel spreadsheet which can be used to generate a CSV file. This is the file we will use for the demo. Make sure you click Enable Macros or Enable Content before entering any data. Once you may save a copy as a macro enabled spreadsheet at any time. Now you'll see three rows already populated. The first row has three buttons, which will allow you to copy a new row. Save the file as a CSV file, or reset the file, which returns the file to the state you see here. The second row contains the headers of the data columns and must not be changed, and the third row shows an example of data for a carrier fluid. In this video, we will be entering for well license 021 9077 with UWI 100 of 3 of 16 of 27 of 21 west of the fourth zero with a fracture at 181.2 to 367.3 meters on May 14th 2005. To enter the data for a carrier fluid overwrite the data in row 3 You'll note that some cells have drop-down lists with values you can choose from. If you do not see these, consult the Lists sheet in the workbook for a list of values for the applicable fields. Open Lists sheets and scroll through Lists and then return to Main sheet. These can be copied and pasted into the appropriate cells in the data sheet. To start entering data type in the license number as seven digits in the license body cell and include zeros at the front. If the well license has a prefix or suffix, enter them into the license prefix and license suffix columns. Enter one in the SS column, the two digit location exception in the LE column and the LSD section, township, range, meridian, and event sequence without zeros at the front in the labeled columns. Enter fracture or multi-stage fracture in the perf treatment type column followed by the top depth and base depth of the fracture, the fracture date, the service provider, and fracture scenario in the appropriate columns.
Next, change the component type to carrier fluid and then clear the propent type, trade name, supplier, and purpose columns as these are not required for carrier fluids. Insert the carrier fluid type, clear the size and unit of measure columns as these are not required for carrier fluid and indicate the volume of carrier fluid in cubic meters in the volume weight column. In the CAS number column, you can enter the CAS number, a four-digit HMRIC number, if the ingredient is hazardous and has federal disclosure protection. The words not available if the CAS number is not available, or the words trade secret if the ingredient is a trade secret. In this case, we will enter the CAS number for distilled water 77321815. Next, enter the ingredient name or enter the name of the chemical family to which the ingredient belongs if it is a trade secret. Enter the maximum concentration in component and note that the sum of all the ingredients in a component should be equal to or greater than 100%. As there is only one carrier fluid, this is 100%. Enter the maximum concentration in hydraulic fluid and note that the sum of all the ingredients in all components should be equal or greater than 100%. This is 98% as the propent and additives still have to be added in the videos 2 and 3. Finally, enter Y or N in the trade secret column to indicate if the ingredient is a trade secret. Save the file on your computer as an Excel macro enabled spreadsheet so you can use it again in part 2 of this video series where we will show how to enter the data for a propent. You have now completed the introductory video of the three-part series. We hope it will assist you in submitting fracture fluid composition data. The AER is committed to providing information and resources that help Albertans understand energy development in the province. If you'd like more information, visit our website at www.aer.ca or contact our customer contact center at 403-297-8311.